Hello, everyone, and welcome to Daily Guidance, or Living with Your Angels for Daily Guidance. My name is Carolyn McGee. Um, I am here with my co-host, Pat Rainville. Uh, we like to check in with you guys monthly to see how you're doing and how we can best support you, let you know how we utilize the angels in our daily life to support ourselves, to build up our energy, to help us let go of things. And since it's January, uh, beginning of a new year, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to be talking about today is connecting in with the angels to uh, support our energy in um, letting go of things from the past year's energy and really stepping into a new powerful energy. So welcome. It's so nice to be here yeah. with you again. Yeah. Happy New Year and Happy, happy New, New Year, Year to everyone yeah. who's watching. Happy <laughs> New Year to everybody who's out there. Um, one of the things that I um, feels really powerful to me is 2018 is an 11 year. Okay. In numerology. And, yeah. In numerology. Um, if you add up all the numbers, they add up to 11. Um, one of the things that's significant about um, 11 or 22, or any of the uh, repeating numbers is that they're called master numbers and they carry an even higher energetic vibration than just the single numbers or numbers that don't repeat and 11 is all about connecting into the divine and that's what we're here to talk about is to connect into that divine energy to really um, understand ourselves better <laughs> you're up okay <laughs> i think i recall the ones too are like the um instant you know when you see the one one um you know be mindful of your thoughts yes pay attention to what picture is mm -hmm. going through your mind and use that moment yes to think about something you'd ideally want to bring in and it's it's great because january being the one <laughs> here we I are guess it's going around right yes um, it is it is january <laughs> yeah uh but the the one being that number of instant manifestation and we've got right. the double one Mm -hmm. So it's so a great got, month. Yes, it's a really powerful month to look at what you want to let go of and what you want to manifest um, into reality for 2018. It's kind of like setting the stage, right? Yeah. And, you know, it's so interesting because I don't like to think of, I know um, it's so talked about as New Year's resolutions. Yes. But I don't think to them, because to me the energy of being resolved, it takes so much energy to be resolved about something. You know, mm -hmm. you put your foot down and you're like, that's it, you know, that kind of, and it, you know, it's a beautiful energy to have in certain situations. But a lot of times I find around the end of the year, after the holidays, after, you know, the, these god awful snowstorms and God only knows what else is going on, I'm too tired to be resolved. And the energy of, of winter is one that makes me want to like rest. I'm like sleeping a Relax. lot. So it's really tough for me to be resolved, but I found that I can be inspired. Yeah, yeah that is a great way to look at it. You know, and I'm like, okay, what's what's sparking my excitement? What's What feels good to me to go after? And that's where I go with my, what do I want for this new year kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the, the releasing part. You know, for the winter, it's all about, you know, going in and hibernating and, mm -hmm. Um, building up our energy, storing our energy. So, you know, if you think about closing out the energy of a year, we are in that space of letting go. Yeah. And then building up our energy to go into the spring season so that we are in a, in a space to really amp things up. So now is the time to plan. It really is. And, you know, as I've been telling people on um, some of the weekly readings that I do on, on YouTube, is that, you know, it can be very easy sometimes when we feel that tiredness and that, you know, and we even feel a desire to just kind of be alone, mm -hmm. um, have that quiet time for ourselves. Um, that, you know, sometimes I found I'd be like, oh, why can't I, you know, I'll start like, turning it like why can't I get motivated I'll think start to think something's wrong with me like you know why can't I get organized why can't I get at this and then I remember it's like no it's the winter yeah you know if you're e even if we don't necessarily always think of it that way intellectually we, we are very much in tune with what mm -hmm. you're talking about with the cycles and rhythms of nature yeah absolutely. and it's natural for us it's like your body does want to rest your mind does want that quiet time to stop and reflect even if you don't have a regular meditation practice there's a part of you that's just going to be drawn to like wanting time alone. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with no, you. It's, it's actually just, right. It's actually very right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's what your body, you, you want to hunker down, you want to hibernate, you want to be quiet, you want to rest, sleep, yep. 
integrate exactly. So, yeah, and you mentioned um, you know this <coughs> natural rhythm. Uh, another nat natural rhythm to think about is um, the rhythm of the, of the moon. You know, everybody, yes. um, men as well as women, have cycles of energy. And if you think about it, if you're trying to create something, you want to do it as the moon is getting larger, so the energy amps up. And if you're trying to release something, people try to get, lose weight or let go of a habit, tr starting at the full moon as the moon starts to um, become smaller, mm -hmm. yeah, to wane, um, that's letting go energy. So it's just the magnetic energy of the entire yeah. universe supporting exactly. whatever your intention is. And, you know, that's like a monthly thing within the seasons. You know, we're talking about the, the winter and, and having that as a rest. But, you know, there's ways that you can look at that and use the energy of the universe, as well, of course, as the angels, to, to amplify support. it. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, as I understand, this is a blue moon month. We have two full moons this month. Oh. Wow. One, the first one was on January on 1st. January 1st, yes. And the second one, I think, is on January 31st. So, you know, you've mm -hmm. heard that expression. Oh, my God, yeah, once in a blue once moon. Once in a blue moon. Well, this is a blue moon month. So maybe it's a time where surprising, like, miraculous things can happen. <laughs> Yay, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Miracles. So, so let's talk about some angels that we use during this time yeah. to not only enhance our use of the natural cycles of energy, but for the, you know, just for, for the daily things that we want mm -hmm. or are looking to get done or that it's a good time to do. So um, I know for myself, you know, the one that me immediately comes to me is Archangel Michael yeah. because he's very motivating. Um, and he's good for just, as we know, clearing, clearing out the out energy. Things. Yep. You know, your personal energy, the energy of your home, and protecting. You know, protecting your living space, your sleeping space. Um, I know whenever I go out on the road, I always call Michael to be with me. But especially when we have these storms, the storms that yeah. go on and the roads are icy and slick. And um, Yeah, my son drove back to Ohio where he goes to college and I sent Archangel Michael along with him. Exactly. <laughs> it's a long drive and I wanted to make sure that he is safe and he is. So yeah. It's very powerful. Yeah. And Michael can get you... He can really, st and <laughs> I also call him Michael when it's really cold <laughs> because he's a, an angel that has a fiery energy to him. Yeah. And it was so interesting. I'll share a story. There was one time when I lost power and I was so cold and I called out and I said, Archangel Michael, can you please help? I, we just need heat. And I got this wild idea to go and take out all my pots and pans, put water in them because I still had a gas stove so I could turn on the heat. And that... I just got the water boiling and it sent all sorts of steam and heat into the Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> but it worked. That's great. And that's following divine guidance. Exactly. Right? I just got this idea, you know, mm -hmm. go put your pots and pans, fill them up with water, turn on the gas. And I had to like, you know, because the electricity was off, you know, I had to light the gas with my own um, match, I think. But it worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. So and it's that, those divine things that just pop into your head. You know, sometimes you think... Where did that come from? Well, exactly. It's, that's the angelic guidance that we're talking about. Yeah. And following through on it and listening to it so that you can feel it in your heart and understand it and then act on it. That's exactly. the biggest thing is the acting on it. Exactly. Exactly. Now, do you have any ones that you particularly work with at this time of year? I, you know, I work with Archangel Michael all the time. He's really yeah. like you. He's my go-to person or go-to angel. And, um, you know, the support that I feel around him is really strong. When I'm trying to do a lot of organizing and letting go, I also do a lot of work with Archangel Metatron. He is great for organizing, for time management. Um, and I find that I get a big boost of energy when yeah, I'm working with him because he is a very powerful archangel also. Yeah, he's one of the motivating ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can definitely um, boost up your energy. Yeah, and when I get overwhelmed um, with, you know, if it's a pile of mail that I need to go through or, um, you know, I just posted something on Facebook a couple of days ago. I had a bin of tools that um, my dad had left. My dad passed about six years ago. And every time he used to come down to visit me, my parents lived in New York, he would, he's, he was a carpenter, so he would bring a tool to help me with something around the house, and he always left it. So I had a little piece of him, and they were all in this tote, and I opened it up, and I started to cry. Aww. And, you know, calling on Archangel Metatron kind of helped me get back in my body, and then kind of 
feel good about the memories of seeing things and remember the chair that he helped me fix and the time that he and I replaced a toilet and you know these crazy things but good memories that are associated with these mm -hmm. physical things and also help me sort through a lot of the other miscellaneous things that had ended up in the bin <laughs> that didn't need to be kept so it was it just helped clarify things for me and then allow me to focus on what I really needed to do and also make decisions. Do I need to keep this? Is it okay to let it go? And you mentioned timeliness before with him. Yeah. Yeah. Getting yep. things done in a timely way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's great to call upon for organization and prioritizing, yeah. you know, record keeping. Oh, yeah, record keeping. Um, if you're doing your taxes, things like that. Um, I also call on uh, the Archangel Jophiel. Because, and it's so funny because every once in a while, you know, I work with this Archangel deck, as you've seen us use so many times, and, um, you know, she'll pop out with a message of clear your space. And so it's usually right around the time that I need to clutter yeah, clear need to something. Clutter clear, yeah. But she's really helpful with that. She's got that beautiful dark pink energy to her. And, um, but she's the angel of beauty. So yeah. in the process of clearing out, she can help you so that because it, it's part of beautifying your space. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I know a lot of us are letting go of, as we were talking about earlier, um, our holiday stuff mm -hmm. for whatever holiday you celebrate. Maybe you're letting go of your tree. You're putting away your decorations. And it's creating the space now. So it's time to clean that out. Yeah. But I know when I do a meditation with her, again, I get the ideas of like, oh, you know, I could rearrange this. Or, you know, I could do this bookcase this way or, you know. Yep. Yeah, and then it does. It opens up space. And, you know, in traditional feng shui, if, if um, you're aware of it, you know, anytime you clear out space or you rearrange things, you're supporting a different energetic resonance exactly. in your space, in your home, in your office. And it just makes such a big difference. It really, it really does. It's so funny. Anyway, <laughs> I had this little funny story. I was, uh, I was due to have my landlord come over one time because I rent a space here in Ashland and um, you know as with any time you always anytime someone's coming over you always want to tidy up a little bit <laughs> Absolutely. and somehow I had gotten distracted I totally forgot about it but I made I ran by these cards I'm like oh I'll just pick a quick card and I'm shuffling and out came the, the clear your space it was like this in your face reminder like remember you wanted to tidy up before and I'm like oh my god that's right someone's coming I wanted to tidy up so they work with us that they way too. They do work with us that way <laughs> absolutely to help us stay on track. Have you ever worked with the angels for timing to help you remember something or you yeah, know? I set intentions all the time and ask for support. On yeah. Whether it's I'm, I need to finish a certain task at a certain time, I need to wake up a certain time. Exactly. I yes. have found that if I have, like, especially if I'm flying someplace and I'm really, you know, I want to be up at a certain time, I set multiple clocks. But then I get into the I'm waking up every hour to check the time. Yeah. <laughs> so asking the angels, allow me to sleep, <laughs> make sure I'm up at a certain time, and it works. And then I can, you know, be restful and not have my own ego and brain trying to uh, do something that I don't need to. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Anybody else that you work with? Those are the big people that I work with, big people, the big energies. Yeah. Those are the biggest ones that I work with for that. Yeah. Jophiel, I know, is in Metatron. Metatron was another one, like, as, as you yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Um, and Michael to clear out space yeah. and um, I know Michael and Metatron are definitely they're the thing to remind I guess I would remind people when working there are angels that are motivating and there are ones that are gentler yeah you know um, Michael and Metatron are two very motivating angels so when you call in their energies not only will you get an idea but you also get almost like a feeling that is it feels very driven like you really feel compelled yeah. to follow through on it yeah and that's part of their motivating mm -hmm. energy it's almost as if you literally have somebody behind you pushing you for me that's what it is it's exactly like, i cannot stop there's this forward momentum to um to complete whatever it is so be very intentional when you're asking for help <laughs> yeah I, I find angels too are very literal they're very literal. Yeah, very you literal. do have to be very specific and very clear. And um, and be, be very aware of your timing also, because in the angelic realm, there is no such thing as time like we experience it. You know, it's, it's all infinite. So 
you know, if you're asking a specific question, make sure you have a time frame on it. And I, I, a lot of times, will ask for, you know, inspiration on is genuine. Like I'm going to be teaching a class on how to connect deeper in with your own inner guidance. And when I was doing that, I, I reached out to Archangel Michael because that's who yeah. I do a lot of my work with. And, you know, is January the right time for me to do this? Oh, okay. Okay. So you asked It's January about 2018. So, you know, is that the right time for me to offer this? Is that the, the optimum time for people mm -hmm. to want to make a shift? Is it going to support the most people at this point in time? So, but I, but um, if I had, before I really started doing this work in depth years ago, I would say, should I be teaching this class? Well, mm -hmm. the answer is yes. Okay. You know, do I need to be starting it in January of 2018 versus July of 2017? Okay. You know, because it's been something that's been percolating in my mind for a long period of time, but had to wait for the optimum time to best support, you know, my energy in teaching it, the energy around for change and people wanting to engage in it. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's actually, that's a really good idea. I was thinking of, because uh, I know, uh, I mean, sometimes, you're right, there is no timing in the, in the realm of spirit um, with, with God and the angels or whatever divinities people call on, but yet their timing is impeccable. Yes. You know? Um, <clears throat> so when, you know, if you go to bed and you, and you want to be able to rest peacefully, angels, can you help me wake, wake up at a certain time? Mm -hmm. Or I want to meditate for this. Can you make sure I, you know, you well, can that's ask another them great your, one. Yeah. You can ask for their help with your, our own timeliness with things and getting things done. But, um, so that's why I was curious why you, what you meant about that, because sometimes if we ask them, you know, we, when we're asking them for help, we can be specific, but yet you're opening, you're trying to be open and flexible because they're limited, their resources are unlimited. Right. You know? Yeah, like you never want to ask um, for something specific to happen. Like if... For a specific outcome, uh, I guess. For a specific outcome, yeah. Or even if you do... Or limited. I guess if you are interested in a specific outcome, maybe not how that specific right. out, Leave outcome the, has to happen. Yeah. You know, you yeah. leave it open to their... Um, resources, I guess. Yeah, like to go back to the example of my son, you know, I set the intention that he would safely, in a timely manner, <laughs> get back to um, to Columbus, and, but nothing else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, no time on it, just, you know, safely protected um, and in a reasonable amount of time. So it, 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 there's so many other ways that you can you can utilize something like that. Yeah, but I like what you did with asking about you know is this the right time? Is this because you want to maximize the energy? Yeah, there's, you know not only is there the moon energy, there's the you know the cosmic energy. We're really going in like I said, we're going into this um, master year of the eleven energy, which is about divine connection. So it's supported to do um, a program to help people understand their mm -hmm. own divine connections. And there's other ways that you can utilize something similar. Yeah, to that. I mean, I will, I often ask in my intentions is, you know, that people be given whatever time, money, mm. or energy, or childcare, yeah. or whatever they need yep. to be able to come if it's gonna bring, you know, blessings or good. benefit to them. Yes, if it's gonna support their highest good. Yeah, yeah good. So, so we have about, you know, 10 minutes or so Ooh. left, and um, we usually do our meditation. Mm -hmm. So, um, we can do that and maybe pull a couple of cards. Yeah, I and, would love to do that. All right. Um, and I think our viewers, I know I've had people comment to me that they like our Yeah, I've had feedback that meditations. they really enjoy the meditations. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Good. All right. So, let's get ourselves, if you're watching, you know, just find a nice comfortable spot for yourself um, where you can maybe be ideally uninterrupted. And, you know, just sit and allow your muscles to relax, taking some nice deep breaths. And with each exhalation, allow your muscles to become more and more relaxed. And just for now, for these next few minutes, put aside all of your cares, your worries, put aside your to-do list, 
be willing to put aside anything that you're running through your mind repeatedly and just spend a few moments in the quiet, in that space where no one's needing your time or your attention and you can just be present with who you are, with what you're feeling. And we call upon the archangels Michael, Metatron, Jophiel, and any other archangels <coughs> that those who are watching may personally need at this time for, to support them. Beloved Archangels, we ask that you help to clear our personal energies. Help us to clear out our homes, our spaces, and take what we have that may be good or blessing for someone else and help us to connect with the right person to pass it on to. Thank you for blessing us with the next steps and ideas and intentions for our life. Inspiring us to move forward and protecting us. And as we do all these things, help us to let go. Let go of things that no longer serve us and let go joyfully, knowing that what is an energetic match for us is the perfect match for someone else. That there is no such thing as lack there's infinite abundance. And that as we release, new opportunities and more energy come into us, whether it's energy for our physical system, energy to open up our third eyes and ability to connect in with the divine, energy for our home to make it more harmonious, more welcoming, more joyful. Allow all of these to happen and to, to allow the angels in, whether we ask intentionally or we just receive their energy. Know that they're with us, helping and supporting us in every single moment. Allow that joy, that peace, that love, that vibrant energy to be with you at all times and then be grateful for it. Because gratitude is one of the highest vibrations that there is next to love. So the more gratitude we have for all that we have been given, the more love we can welcome into our homes, our families, our communities, and then the world. Taking some nice deep breaths. asking the angels to help us release that which no longer serves us. Letting go. <coughs> and then asking the angels to open our heart to receive what is in our highest good. That's right. Yes, adding that on to the end Absolutely. there. Absolutely. <laughs> Hands over heart and many blessings to all of you. I think we might have a couple minutes if we want to to yes, pick a card or two. Let's see here. what we uh, want to. Who's working with us for the month? Ooh, I don't know if I got this one last month. I got Shamuel for career transition for people. Mm -hmm. That could all be about uh, big changes. Yeah. Good. What did you get? 
Um, purification. Purification. White Tara. White Tara. Yes. She is all about opening up your heart and letting go purification, letting go of what no longer serves you. And there's a lot of water energy in this card for clearing, for yeah. letting go. Um, and, you know, with we are in Massachusetts, as everybody knows, there's a ton of snow outside. So you know, embrace all of that water and that clarity and that purity that is around us. Um, you know, and instead of getting annoyed, like I sometimes do when I've got to get outside and clear my car out, but to look at the beauty of it and know that it's nurturing us and it's going to be, you know, taking care of the flowers that are coming in the spring. It's a little tiny shift in perspective for everybody. Yeah. And what I get too is I think with the purification card is that, you know, for some of you, part of maybe the transition of the new year and the energies of letting go, maybe you're just really done with a toxic work environment. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and um, so it's time to transition to something else that, you know, has been in your mind and heart. You've been thinking about mm -hmm. it and it might be a little nudge from the angels to look into that further or, or make that move because it's about purification yeah. for yourself and your of work and environment. Yes, of, of being in the best, best environment for you. Yeah. And it may even be rather than a complete transition. It could be a partial one. You know, perhaps you've got, yeah. you know, 80% of your energy has been one place and 20% has been someplace where your soul is really thriving. Maybe you shift it a little bit. Exactly. Even make it 70-30 or something else so that you're really stepping out into what fills you, fills you with joy. Yeah, and the water is about the washing away, and allowing all those things to wash away that yep. don't. Absolutely. Don't serve you. So thank you so much once again for joining us. And we look forward to being with you next month and uh, sharing our angelic guidance for daily living. And yes. Any last thoughts? No. Just uh, be well, listen, see, and feel. Yep. Pay attention to your ideas. And Pay attention to those ideas. And then take that dis the divine inspiration to really to follow through on it. Exactly. You know, trust what you get in your heart so that you can step out and actually take care of it. Be well. Excellent. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.